Mbote means how are you or greetings in my language Lingala from the DRC Democratic Republic of Congo. Ducks are doing sit ups. Here we go. Go ahead. One, two. Ah, uh, four. Another one. Go ahead. You. <laughs> Five. <coughs> the Ndongala family. That's Ndongala. The N is silent. So here's our story. That's my son that you're seeing right there. His name is Doxa. Do, like deer, then X A, Xa. <laughs> a lot of people always get it wrong. But, anyways, back to the story. Me and my wife have been married for at least five years now. And this is our story. I guess we've had the most random occurrences happen all the time. But God's been really, really faithful and good to me and her. As you can see, there's been a lot of love um, shown to this little guy. He's been such a blessing. So, anyhow, where do we begin? Well, how about I talk about where we're living currently? And then we'll backtrack as the vlogs go on. Right now we live in Cup Bank, Montana. Here's a tour through our city in like 20 seconds. <laughs> the population is about 3,000 people. Um, it's not that big. But I've really grown accustomed to this little small town with the one McDonald's and then of course the Penguin, which we're pretty famous for. Welcome to Cup Bank, Montana coldest spot in the nation. They're not kidding. So, just had our uh, 4th of July week. Um, and as usual, random things always happen to me. So here's a recap of the fire that just happened to burn somebody's field <laughs> during 4th of July. Check it out. Every 4th of July, we have this tradition as a family um, up here in Cut Bank, Montana. We go out to Katie's uncle's house, Uncle Robert, and we get some absolutely delicious food. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record any of the food this time, but next time I will. But anyhow, we come out here and uh, we celebrate the fourth. So we play a game of knockout. I call it knockout, they call it lightning. Uh, knockout is a better game. Anyhow, after that, we'll play some other sports. Here's some uh, two-hand touch uh, Oh yeah, that's gone. Uh, football here. <laughs> Buckets. Oh! And of course, the epic Nerf War.
Rushing. After all the games, we light up the fireworks. It's absolutely amazing, especially since you don't have a lot of city lights. We're out there um, in the country, and so it's like so dark. When the fireworks go up, they light up the sky. You know, I remember growing up in uh, Denver, and I mean, you see fireworks, but you never really get to see the detailed colors like you do out there because there's like no city lights blocking them. But just as the fireworks are going off, Robert gets a phone call and it's his neighbor. And now the, they don't live like close. We're out there in the country, so it's a ways away. Um, but I guess something happened in their field and their field got set on fire. Some of it, at least. And so we rush out there, right? Pull up in the vehicle. And when I get there, uh, some of the guys had already showed up and they took their shirts off, dunked it in water, and they started just smashing the fire. I mean, and I jumped in. I just started doing it as well. This was crazy. And of course, the fire department, um, they ended up showing up um, um, as soon as they possibly could. But by the time they came, we, the fire was almost all done. Um, you see, uh, that's my brother-in-law, Daniel, there. <laughs> He's so but yeah, that was our 4th of July. Pretty insane. escalated quickly um, with that fire it was like it was insane it was so insane Katie's brother Josh um, younger brother he has asthma and he's always looking at to help people out and he wasn't thinking about himself he just jumped in there and of course the smoke it made it a little bit harder for him to breathe so pretty insane but that was just the 4th of July so that weekend was Indian days or what? Power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my, my boy right here. Here, give me the camera. So what exactly is Indian Days? Explain it. It's a powwow. Indians from all over Montana come to the powwow for their food, the dancing. Sometimes they have carnivals there. It's just all in good fun. Like, get to see some Native American cultural. They're dancing, how their dance styles are. Fun. Perfect. So, check out these videos. That's going to be in the next vlog, my second vlog that I, I'm going to be doing. Um, so, check it out because something ended up going down. It's pretty epic. Um, I ended up playing one on one versus a WNBA player, which showed up to the power. Right? Till next time. But always remember. That's how we do it in the Congo. Late.